Hey, it's Keith from Outlaw Speed Shop, and this week we're going to talk about chrome. Uh, specifically, trying to paint chrome and making it look like chrome, which I kind of experimented this week. So let's see some of the results that I've gotten, and I'm going to be doing some more. So I'm going to cue you guys in in the new process, and maybe we can learn together. And let's see where we're at. So first off, before I get started... Um, I changed my workbench around. I actually cleaned it, and we're looking pretty good. It won't last, probably about, probably by the end of this video. So, <clears throat> aside from that, you guys know I'm a huge van nut. Um, I got this one in from eBay this week, actually. But I had two vans. I had I actually had a paramedic van that I had since I was a kid that I kind of just if you go back, I'm, it was one of the first videos I did. I just kind of weathered it. It was already chipped uh, for me playing with it as a kid. Um, I decided to strip it completely. So I did two vans. I had a chrome, uh, California chrome um, van, the California cruising ones. So I stripped that and I stripped my paramedic van. Um, and I figured I'd do them side by side so I could kind of see where I'm at. And I had mild success. So I went with the K colors because everybody swears by it. Um, I did get a good result. And that is this one. Okay, right now it's just on a, on a chassis. And what I did, <laughs> after many, many attempts, and I'm going to try to recreate this uh, with the video, is... <sighs> The K colors recommend you could either have a white base or a black base. Um, the black base, just it was way too dark. No matter what you did, it just looked black and it was shiny. So I wanted to, to replicate the original chrome from what Hot Wheels did on their Super Chromes. And I know it's not going to be perfect and it's not going to look like the new ones with the plastic. But the metal ones had a specific shade of they had um, it wasn't too dark it wasn't too light you know it wasn't super polished um, so I think I got it pretty close and you probably won't be able to tell um, ignore the scratches and the little I don't know, fucking dust mites or whatever the hell's in there um, this was just a, a sample actually it's scratched because I dropped it um, this was just a sample so I did two Okay, and one's actually being stripped right now. Um, what I ended up and what I found that this works or looks the best is I completely stripped it. I wet sanded it. I primed it white. Then I used the K colors, what they call a white base for the chrome. I didn't like it. It was way too thin. I mean, it was almost transparent. Usually white is like the hard, it's like a bitch to paint because it's so thick because of the pigments in it. This stuff, um, I mean, the one thing about the K colors is you don't have to add anything to it. It is thin as hell. And I just had a really hard time laying the paint down for the white. So when I didn't get the success that I wanted, I actually stripped it. And then I took, uh, did the white primer again, um, and then I did a white base coat with a different brand, the Wicked Colors, and that gave me a little bit of a gloss. The At that point, I clear coated, okay, and... Then I used the chrome base that they give, that they sell you, and it says it's metallic. This stuff you have to put on very, very thin, very thin, light coats. Let it dry in between. You don't have to go, you know, maybe five minutes in between. And then when that's dry, I took their black chrome, which is just as transparent, and I did one you know, not super, well, actually I did a tack coat, excuse me. Then I did one even coat, nothing heavy, all the way around. And I personally think that that works the best. Um, trying to do just the white gloss and then adding the chrome over it didn't have the look. It came out a little bit on the dull side, 
And then when you clear coat it, if you wanted it really, really shiny, it just, it, it actually saturated into the paint. And I did let it sit for quite a while before I clear coated it. And it just darkened up and I just didn't like it. It almost, it just looks silver. So what we're going to do, and I know I'm kind of rambling on, is I'm going to go strip this and then we'll, this is, this was my poor sample. Um, this is the one that didn't look as good. And I want to see if I can replicate it. Uh, but actually do it well and not, um, you know, not all scratched and shit like that. So give me a second and, and I will be right back. All right, I'm back. Um, it's pretty well stripped. I'm going to, this was actually the chrome one. This was the California Cruisin' one. So you can still see some of the chrome and that might be part of the reason. Again, this is all experimental. Um, you know, it may work, it may not. Um, but I forgot to show you guys exactly what it is. <coughs> Excuse me. I used so I used this white primer uh, as a base. I really like the Rust Oleum stuff. It goes on easy. It goes on thin. Um, sands wicked easy. Um, showing my uh, my New England here with the wicked, but it definitely sands easy. Um, the second time, well, I tried this. Oops, that ain't it. This white. This case color is white. But you can, I don't know if you can see that, but I mean, this thing is like skim milk. It's wicked thin. So I didn't have much luck laying this down, but it's supposed to be for a metal base. But I didn't really like it that much. Uh, it could be me. Um, I only tried it once, um, but I did it on two vehicles and I just didn't have much luck. So I ended up using, uh, where is it? It's in my pocket. <laughs> um, the Wicked Colors. Uh, with I had to reduce a lot of it to is this stuff it's like paste you know if you're you know if you ever painted white it it's, it can be a pain in the ass if you're not careful um, but I used this stuff and it worked really good it gave me a nice nice sheen to it and then what I did is I put this this is the chrome it's sixty I think yeah sixty steel is what it's called metallic um, and it's it's like water it goes on very very thin. Um, so you got to be careful. You don't put it on heavy at all. Um, and then I did buy some reducer, but I don't know why because I don't need it. <laughs> um, the final coat, actually, no, I used this for the gloss. Um, so th this stuff works pretty good, too. Um, it gave me a really good um, shiny surface to work with. Um, so I put this over the white. And then this stuff is awesome i can't say enough about this black chrome um this is what gave this the tint that it went from looking like just a silver base that was clear coated essentially to you know it, it's got chrome highlights it really I, I unfortunately i don't think the camera does it justice and i have like two lights on this but it came out really good um, aside from my shitty body work because i didn't really put any effort into it because I knew I was going to strip it again. So anyways, I wanted to show you guys that stuff. Um, so here's this. Um, I'm not going to bore you, but I'm going to wet sand it and I will be right back. All right, I'm back. I wet sanded this. Well, actually, no, I stripped it, sanded it. I uh, hit it with the... Uh, I tried 400, but it seemed a little too abrasive. So I went to a 600 and I stepped it up to a thousand and then 2000. Um, really there's some little imperfections that i'm hoping the primer will fill um it's pretty consistent on both sides just in the casting itself i don't have a a zinc plater so it would probably make this process a lot better um or at least consistent and i might be able to actually avoid the primer stage but Either way, I'm going to go shoot a coat of white primer on this, and I shall return. All right, I'm back. Um, I got the... Actually, hold on a second. This. Bring this up. There we go. So, I got this painted white. Um, the white doesn't really show too much on camera without washing out. Um, this is the Wicked Colors white. Um, I had much better success this time. Um, 
not sure why the first time I painted with this paint, it didn't work very well. Um, I might not have thinned it out enough because the pigments in this is just so tough. Plus, no matter what you do, it sucks cleaning your airbrush with white being in there. I'm still finding white from the first time I painted it, and I've cleaned the thing about 80 times. So um, sucks getting it out, but it did come out 100% better this time. Um, naturally, it doesn't have, you know, it's got a shine to it, but it's not the shine that I need to apply um, the silver or the chrome over it so i'm gonna use i'm gonna try if i can find it there it is i'm gonna try the um k colors super gloss clear coat and put that on first then i'm going to apply a few light coats of this metallic then i'm going to put the black chrome on so hopefully this gives me the look that i'm looking for which is essentially this stay tuned i will be right back all right i'm back i have the van painted and clear coated um, i did use the k color super high gloss whatever um, i put it on pretty wet it's not as glossy um, as some of the other clear coats actually believe it or not rattle can um, tester not testers but uh krylon uh, seems to be about the best as far as a super high gloss, but this is definitely definitely glossy enough. I think um, you probably can't tell because it's white, but it does have a high gloss. So now I got to add my light coats of steel, and then I will do like two coats, really light, of the black chrome. And that should give me this look that I'm looking for. Part of me just wants to go black chrome over the white to see what it looks like. Um, not 100% sure. I may change my mind between the time I shut this video off to the time I get to the spray booth. So I'll let you know as soon as I come back. Right, we're back and I applied three coats of black chrome and I'm gonna actually hold the camera here get the light on I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to see but this came out killer the I was gonna stop it too but the third coat really made a big difference I'm glad I put the extra coat on and it's still not quite as dark as as this one so three coats is the magic this one i put uh five i believe so three coats seems to be the magic number one light coat one medium coat and then one i would say heavy coat i mean remember it's transparent so came out pretty good i am happy with it and that's pretty much the whole purpose of this video is to experiment uh pass or fail that was the goal um i already had a rough idea what i was doing but it could have gone miserably like the first couple tests <laughs> so anyways thanks for tuning in and um if i ever finish this and put it on a, a good base um, i haven't touched this base yet um, obviously so i'm gonna try to hunt down some good wheels and i will finish it off and i'll probably do that in another video or a, a weekly review video so thanks for tuning in and i will catch you on the next one